Hi, I'm Mike Dawson. I'm the EMS Operations Manager for Cox Health EMS. As part of my role as, as EMS Operations Manager, I also work with the multidiscipline Cox Health Stroke Team. And that is a team that looks across all of the uh, areas of Cox Health to help to improve the uh, the care of the stroke patient. And so that's from the 911 call, the early education, all the way to the patient being dismissed. So we found that there's been a few points that we just feel like we can improve on. You know, as they say, if you're not improving, then you're becoming stagnant. And so this is not a situation where EMS is actually doing anything wrong or omitting anything, but we just wanted to put an emphasis on a few things. One of those emphases that has come directly from the neurologist is getting a number of a family member that they can then call and be able to get specific information. And this needs, is going to need to go into like ESO alerting. They would like to have this number even prior to the patient arriving if at all possible. So let me give you a little bit of a scenario. So we have a stroke patient who is maybe dysphagic, aphasic, they're having cognition problems, whatever, they show up to the ER, their family hasn't showed up, it's COVID right now, and so it's hard for the family to get in. And so getting that information directly from the patient as for last known well, uh, the medications maybe that they take, being able to screen them for things like a CT scan or an MRI is very challenging for the neuro. And so they, they're, they're uh, just time is clicking off during that time that they could actually be treating the patient. So if they have the opportunity to have that phone number of a family member who knows some of these questions, they can call them and get that information. So this needs to be a phone number of somebody who actually knows them, maybe a spouse, a son or a daughter who has uh, information about them. Maybe it is the patient's own phone, but you hand it to somebody who can make that, uh, can answer that phone call and be able to get that information. So we're suggesting that it go into ESO alerting. And so as you get down to the end of ESO alerting, there's a, an area in there to where you can free type information in. And that would be a great area to be able to put that phone number of that family member. I would suggest that we put it as family member phone and that way it goes through ESO alerting. The emergency department has it, the neuro stroke team can get it as well and they can actually uh, be able to utilize that phone number to contact that, that family member. So a second issue that we would like to be able to see as emphasis for stroke care is making sure that we are looking for blood thinners, platelet medications, those type of things. I notice whenever I'm reading charts that our staff is absolutely great at finding or documenting blood thinners because the patient fell and hit their head or such as that. You guys do a magnificent job of that. And so the request has come out from the neurologist, can we get the same type of engagement for patients who potentially have a stroke-like stroke symptoms? As you know, strokes can be a clot or strokes can be a bleed. And so the effect on the way that they treat that patient, oftentimes they have to do some type of re reversal agent for these type of medications. And as you know, by just watching TV, there's all kinds of new medications that's been out on the market and utilized for these type of things. So if you can get that kind of, of uh, med information, it really helps them out in the, in the care of that patient. So last, but definitely not least, the other emphasis that we'd like to make on stroke care is making sure that when you're doing that Cincinnati stroke scale or that race scale, that you actually get a video of it. One of the great things with the ESO alerting is you can click in there and do that 15 second video. We are really, really good about attaching 12 leads in cardiac cases, but less good about getting the, that video of the patient while you're doing that Cincinnati stroke scale or the race scale. So simply just click on that, ask them to smile, to say the, you know, the sky is blue in the Ozarks, all of the things that you go for that scale and get it on video. Again, that way the, the neurologist, the ER physician, they can see that through ESO alerting even before the patient arrives. 
So I just want to revisit everything that we talked about. I want to emphasize the fact that you guys are doing a great job and gals are doing a great job of taking care of stroke patients, of giving early notification. It's amazing. But we can do these few things just to help to up our game, so to speak. So remember, we need to get the family phone number so that the neurologist can contact them if necessary. We need to make sure that we're getting the information on the meds with emphasis on blood thinners or platelet type medications such as that and getting that video of the race or the Cincinnati stroke scale to where it can be attached to the uh, ESO alerting and send it off. We appreciate all you do for the patients. We appreciate everything that uh, you've gone through during COVID and we just ask you just be safe out there.